Tonight, there's also a murder-suicide under investigation. Police say the gunman shot a man outside his home, then went inside and turned the gun on himself. Investigators believe the dispute started over money. From the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Iowa to Sue's reporter Susan Campbell is in Swansea. The victim's brother tells me he and his family are heartbroken, and he says because the alleged killer is also dead, his family will have to live with unanswered questions forever. A simple note with a message of love hangs near the scene of an apparent murder-suicide. I put the sign up because I know he can see it, so it was my way of saying, I forgive you, I love you, and goodbye. Mackenzie Stevenson's brother, Mitchell Stevenson, was shot to death in his car Sunday evening at this home in Swansea. The Bristol County District Attorney's Office tells Eyewitness News Stevenson's alleged killer, Christian Wilson, was found dead in the home a short time later with a gunshot wound to his head. Eyewitnesses tell us they heard yelling before they heard several gunshots. Mitch was saying, what are you going to threaten me with a gun? He threatened me. And, um... Next thing, you, next thing I know, I could hear it sound like a cap gun going off, and they're in my front yard. And Chris was actually shooting, shooting um, Mitch through the, through the window of his car. Stevenson's brother says Stevenson and Wilson had worked on a classic car together, and he says the friends were fighting because Wilson didn't pay Stevenson for his work. So not only did you take his life and ruin multiple people's lives, but you took your own. And that was a cop-out. That was a straight cop-out. Two lives, $5,000. It just doesn't make sense. Mitchell Stevenson was 37. Christian Wilson was 43. In Swansea with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.